the league is an equal opportunity experience and you can be all you want to be you can participate in all aspects um, and indeed most of us do I came here as an immigrant in 1970 with a green card so I wasn't eligible to vote and I became a citizen about seven years later and since that time I have taken great pride in voting because I think it's the way that your voice can be heard. My name is Mary Savala and I've been a member of the League of Women Voters uh, for over 50 years. And many League members have been suffragettes. But it was organized so women could uh, become informed and make their own decisions and not have to turn to their husbands, brothers and fathers about how to vote. My name is Mary Ann Kast and I'm president of the League of Women Voters of Fresno. So I started working uh, with the League, registering voters, speaking to high school kids, and eventually working in the elections office. In terms of voting, there's been uh, so much disparagement of the voting process, of uh, voters' qualifications, and I think that that's really uh, not well placed, and I think that the League has a reputation of really knowing voting. And when it comes to that issue, the League is clearly an expert. For somebody who hasn't voted often or is thinking about voting for the first time, remember that you don't have to vote for every issue, that you can investigate a few and vote on those issues and vote confidently. Make sure that you're registered to vote. Make sure you keep your uh, voter registration up to date. Um, don't be discouraged. Everybody has voted for a loser before. Sometimes you vote for winners, sometimes you vote for losers. That's just how the game is played. Until the election is over, you don't know if your vote counts or not. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to be sitting at home saying, oh darn, I really should have voted. Mm -hmm. You really want to be saying, well, I'm glad I expressed my opinion whether or not the vote went in my favored direction or not. Even if you are unhappy with the current state of politics, you know, the game isn't going to change because you don't like it. The game's going to stay the same. So you have to figure out how to win at the game. That it does matter, that elections can be very close, and that their opinion really could make a difference, and they could influence the direction that our community is going. More and more elections are being decided by very slim margins. And so we can look at states where, you know, the presidential electors were decided by less than a thousand votes. Every vote matters. And so that's why it's important for no matter where you are on the political spectrum just to get out and vote.